What's up guys? Thanks for tuning into my channel today. Um, so as promised, today I'm doing a quick look. This is like my mommy, I don't have time for this <laughs> look that we're doing. Um, I would love to always have 15 to 20 minutes to spend on my makeup every day, but reality is I don't. I have two small kids and we're always running off to dance class or story time or running errands at the grocery store or the park, and I don't like to always look like I rolled out of bed. So, um, you know, these, there's a few products that you can use and use them a specific way to ensure that you look finished and fresh but you don't look super made over, you don't look like you threw a ton of makeup on just to be going to the park with the kids. So um, that's what I'm gonna show you today, guys. I hope you really like this video, and um, stay tuned if you wanna see how I got this look. Let's get into it, guys. I'm gonna start off today with my um, e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Uh, the reason I'm using this, even though we're not doing a foundation, is, um, precisely for that reason. And we're not using a foundation today. So I really want to focus on my skin looking really soft and smooth um, because people aren't gonna be looking at my amazing eyeshadow or um, you know, they're really gonna be focusing on my face, my skin looking really smooth and clean and fresh. So what I try to do when I'm not doing a full makeup look is focus on my skin looking really smooth and good but without looking like I have too much makeup on my eyebrows um, being really, really finished that day and looking good, and then focusing on like my mascara, my eyelashes. Because I'm not doing eyeshadow and foundation and doing a full face, I can spend more time focusing on those three things to ensure that I look made up, but like I don't have a lot of makeup on. So let's start off with our primer, and um, I'm mainly just going to be putting this in areas where I really wanna conceal my pores. Um, I do like this e.l.f. primer. It has a really funky smell to it. It just smells kind of like alcohol or, I don't know, it has a really strange smell to it, but it's really good at concealing your pores, hiding your pores. Okay, so today I'm gonna to start off with my new Glossier Concealer. I just got this recently. I had been hearing a lot about this company, Glossier. This is called the Stretch Concealer. The main idea for this concealer is to have it look like your skin. So that's why this one's great for the look that we're doing today, is um, it's hard to find a concealer for those days when you don't wanna do all your makeup. You know, I found in the past where I'd use a concealer when I just want to run out of the house but once I put that concealer on because that looks like makeup it's like then I have to put a heavier powder on because it just looks like I have makeup under my eyes and then once I put the powder I have to do the blush it just rolls into like being a full makeup look so this one's really great because it just looks like your skin so for this look it's perfect um, I, I probably wouldn't use it for you know a night out especially because I'm oily. Maybe for somebody that's really dry under the eyes, this would be nice for you. So I'm gonna start off with um, the shade Medium. And I'm gonna use my Sonia Kashuk uh, Concealer Brush. And main places I'm gonna focus on are under my eye. Especially since we're not using a foundation today and the rest of my skin is just basically gonna have a setting powder on it. So we wanna make sure with this step that you're covering anything that you don't wanna see. I tend to have a little bit of redness around my nose and in my chin area here. So I like to put a little bit there and just roll with it. It's for this part's going to be different for everybody. Some people are going to need a little bit more. Some people are going to need a little bit less. So I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques sponge. What you want to do with the sponge is wet it really, really well. Get it very wet, and then wring all the water out, and then use it. Um, that's going to be give you the best finish. The whole point of that is that the sponge then doesn't soak up all your makeup. Just gonna go in with a little bit more because there's something going on on my face over here. I don't know what's going on here. And in the areas where you want it to cover a little bit better, instead of using your sponge, you can use your finger and just really lightly tap to control keeping that concealer on that area but blending around it. 
So tap over the whole thing and then just really tap around so you keep the concealer on the area you're trying to cover. So next what we want to do, and this is optional, we've already concealed what we want to and this medium color, because it's closer to my skin tone, is going to conceal better than the light, which I have as well. I'm now going to go in with the bright, the lighter tone and um, just do it in the same areas that I would usually highlight on my face when I'm doing a full look. So the light is has a nice ivory look to it. And I'm just going to take that color and put it under my eyes. A little bit down my nose. And you'll notice with some concealers you have to have a much softer touch with it, especially because this one is a lot more movable than most of them are that have more of you know a real makeup look to them. So I'm just really lightly dabbing this into the skin to ensure that I don't take all the product away. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is take a setting powder. You could use a foundation powder if you want a little bit more coverage, but I'm really trying to keep this to look like I don't have any or a lot of makeup on. It's obviously gonna look like I have some, but I just want it to look like I threw on some blush and mascara and ran out the door. So I'm gonna use the Fit Me Set and Smooth powder today. It just has a really soft finish without looking powdery or like foundation. And I'm going to take my Morphe, it's a pointed powder brush, and just, I'm going to avoid my under eye area because I want to keep that looking really dewy and like my skin. Okay, so we're done with the powder and concealer, and what we've accomplished now basically is covering things that I don't want people to see, but keeping my skin peeking through. It still looks like my skin. It doesn't just look like makeup. So that's what we want to go for today. Next, I'm going to move on to a little bit of bronzer because I'm so fair on my face, and just to add a tiny bit of structure to my face, but without going overboard. Um, today I'm going to use this new one that I bought. It is by The Balm and it's called Bahama Mama. I found this at Cosmoprof, which you have to have a license to get, but I'm sure that you can probably find it at other beauty supply stores or things like that. And normally what I would use for my bronzer is a real small um, contour brush because I like it to look really structured, but I want my face to look a little bit softer today since I'm going for a no makeup look. So what I'm gonna use today is a bigger brush and it's angled. This is also by Morphe. And always taking it under my chin. So as you can see, just adding a nice sun-kissed look to my face um, and a, a little bit of structure, just a soft, soft structure to my face. All right, guys, so this next product, like I said, some of them will be optional. The next one totally is. You don't have to do this, but I just like the way that it looks on my skin, especially with not having much on my eyes. Like I said, I like my face to look really finished and, um, and pretty and like glowy. So I'm gonna use a highlighter today. And I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Illuminating Highlighter. And the color I'm using today is Blossom Glow. The reason I'm using this one is because it's a really soft tone. Some highlighters have a really, um, like a color to them almost. This one doesn't. It's just a nice iridescent highlight. So the brush I'm going to use today, is, and I just bought this and I really love it, is the e.l.f. Highlighting Brush. I used to use the small tapered brush by e.l.f. for my highlighter, but this one is a little bit longer and a little bit looser at the end, so I really like the way it applies the highlighter. Okay, next item we're going to go in with is some blush, and obviously we're going to use a nice soft tone today with this. You can even use a little bit of your bronzer just if you want instead of using an actual blush tone. Um, luckily I have some that are really neutral 
colors and they're similar to a bronzer so that's going to be the best idea for today or you can use something light and shimmery and not use a highlighter if you want and just take the blush up here a little bit to give a little bit of that shimmer on your cheek you can do that as well um, I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics uh, blush palette today I'm going to go in with these two shades one is a little bit more of a brown undertone and one of is a little bit more peach undertone so I'm just going to mix these two now, normally, um, you all know, if you've watched my videos, I would use my Sephora number 73 for my blush. But today, um, since I'm not trying to really keep everything in one small area like I would when I'm doing a full face, I'm going to use a fluffier brush. Um, and you could go a couple different ways with this. The angled brush that I used for the bronzer would work really well. Or you could use, like this is my Real Techniques blush brush, and you just want to like fluff the blush on. So anything big and fluffy is going to work good for what we're going for today. So today I'll use the Real Techniques and just mixing these two colors. Um, next what we're going to go in with is eyebrows, and you're really lucky if you don't have to do this and you have eyebrows naturally, but I obviously have none, which sucks, and so it takes a lot of time. So today I'm going to go a shade lighter and I'm going to use brunette. I usually use this with the darker shade, and I use two colors on my brows, but today I'm just going to go in with brunette and just give a really soft feathering to my eyebrows. Thank you guys, if you have eyebrows naturally, you don't understand how lucky you are. Look at what a difference this makes on my face. <laughs> if I didn't have to do this every day, it would be like the best thing in life. I think if I had one wish, it would be to have eyebrows. <sighs> okay. is just my elf um, angled brush and then on the other end it has a spoolie and if you go in with the spoolie side and really get right in on your skin it's gonna blend your eyebrows a little bit for you and then I'm gonna go in with the angled brush and just soften a little bit Just make sure when you're going for, you know, a soft brow, if you really have to draw your brows in like I do, like fully, just make sure that in here you have really soft lines because that's when you can really tell that somebody, you know, sketched their eyebrows on is when they have a real defined line right in the middle. So just make sure you have a nice soft line here. And then what I always like to do is take some hairspray, and I actually just bought a new one. Um, I'll let you know soon how I feel about it because I haven't used it too much on my hair yet. But this is by Matrix. Um, it's called Oil Wonders. To be honest, I thought the bottle was really pretty, so I bought it. That's awful. Um, I think it was like $10 at the beauty supply. So spray your spoolie. And comb the few hairs that you do have up just to keep them in place and this um, smells really good this hairspray smells like roses okay so if you're lucky and you have brows you can shave about two minutes off of this look unfortunately I can't um, now what I'm going to do on my eyes, and this is just a little trick, um, you don't have to do this, again, this is one of the optional things, but it's the same product we already used, so I'm going to go in with the bronzer that I used today, and I'm just going to take a um, fluffy contouring brush, a fluffy, you know, it's a crease brush, and I'm just going to do a tiny bit of contour in my eye. Just take it right in your crease, and give a little bit more depth to your eye without doing a full eyeshadow look. So just back and forth in your crease. But if you can see the difference in my two eyes, it just looks a little bit more finished here. And all I did was throw a little bit of bronzer on my eyelid. Okay. 
Okay, next we're on to mascara. And what I'm gonna use today, because I'm not doing a full-blown eye, um, I'm gonna use my Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, which is definitely like my go-to mm -hmm. mascara. Um, you could use the Peacock Flare by CoverGirl. That gives a really natural finish on your eyelashes. But because I'm used to having a more done look than this, I like this one because it makes my lashes look a little bit fuller. So you just want to make sure with this look that you're getting your mascara like right on your lash line to give you the effect of like more depth at your lash line, making your lashes look fuller and making your eye look a little bit more finished even though we didn't do a full makeup look today. Okay, so our final step today is going to be our lips, and you can do whatever you want with this. You can just throw on chapstick, you can throw on a tinted lip balm. Um, what I'm going to use today is a gloss, but it's a really neutral, like, peachy tone, and this is by Essence. It's called XXXL, and the color here is Life is Sweet, and it just has a really soft, peachy, not too shimmery look to it. All right guys, so that's what I do for um, those days when I just don't have any time to do a full face and I wanna still look like I spent a little time getting ready in the morning. Last thing I would do is touch up my hair a little bit. This is basically how my hair looks when I wake up. Um, it's on like day three, so I'm gonna throw in some dry shampoo. And what I have been using lately, and I like it, it's not my favorite, but I do like this one. This is the Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo Clean Freak. So you just want to spray all over. Make sure you really get it at the root. It's just going to give my hair a little bit of life. It's looking a little flat this morning. If I had some time, I'd run a quick little curling iron or flat iron through it just in the front, maybe a little bit, but this will do the job. I hope you like this video. Um, I hope it gave you a little bit of help on those days when you don't really have time. So I hope you enjoyed it and if you do please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. So if I had a little extra time I would just take this curling iron Curl a couple pieces here in the front, leaving my ends out. What I like to do around the front of my face, if I'm using a curling iron and not a flat iron, is the one right there, curl it the opposite way. Um, I just like the way it falls a little bit better. It gives a little bit more lift at your root in the front, and then put it back the other way. And then... Uh, one second. What I like to do around the front of my face is, if I'm using the curling iron, 